When you work with brilliant people, you start realizing that one of the problems that brilliant people have is, is finding a little bit of humility around subjects where they're not the experts. And a lot of my class is actually talking about the fact that doing well with money, having a successful financial life um, can be more about emotions, can be more about um, systems that you have in place, more about admitting the things that you don't know or that you're just not spending time on, right? And it's very hard to convince a lot of brilliant people, whether they're engineers or MBAs or whatever their, their walk of life, that, that actually that money isn't what they're focused on. You know, lawyers might be focused on being great lawyers. Doctors focused on being great doctors. Engineers, great engineers. Founders, great founders. Um, getting people to realize that, you know, personal finances is its own area. It's not academically difficult, but that doesn't matter if you weren't taught it, right? Most of the students in my class have gone to some of the best schools. You know, secondary schools, uh, you know, backgrounds, et cetera. Some of the most brilliant people in the world um, who will likely be very successful, but they've never had a class in personal finance. They don't know the basics. And so a little bit of humility and understanding that very basic systems, being honest about your emotions around money, um, understanding how the math works for solving problems, financial problems over time, and actually thinking clearly about what your financial goals are. I mean, those are probably, believe it or not, the biggest themes in the class. Now, the detail in the class for me, I'm, I'm very proud of. You know, when we talk about compensation, we have a whole seminar on compensation. I bring in actual offers. This is what an offer from Facebook or Google looks like this year. This is what an offer from a startup looks like. This is what an offer from an investment bank or a consulting firm looks like. This is what an offer might look like from a Fortune 500 company. You real data, real money. I try to create a safe environment where people can talk about their questions about money. 